What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor, DVDJ, and use code your boy Bugs for 10% off at checkout. And yeah, man, check them out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we're going to talk about a possible market crash coming Thursday and pretty much how you guys can prepare for it and pretty much just empty methods in general, snipe filters and whatnot. And yeah, if you guys don't know, um, pretty much, bro, hasn't really anything really hasn't dropped besides the locker code. There's been no content besides the moments. In my opinion, they're trash. And yeah, we're going to go over the market as per usual. Please make sure to drop a like on the video. We're going to give you guys a bunch of tips, market tips and whatnot. And yeah, guys, there's a lot of stuff going on. Considering the fact there hasn't been any content dropping, and honestly, there's a lot to talk about. So we're going to get into it. As per usual, drop the like, drop the sub, and all that good stuff. Please, it would be greatly appreciated. And uh, yeah, man. So, if you guys don't know, since there is no content, the market is really high. And how do I know this? Because simply, I've been playing the game since it came out. I know the tendencies. And with Zion going for 120,000 MT is absurd. Honestly, I, I don't know. This is insane. If you have a Zion Williamson, I'm just going to say, go ahead, sell the card. Why? March Madness is coming. A Galaxy Opal Zion is upon us. Not only that, he went off against LeBron. 120k, 23 minutes left for a 96 overall that is outdue by a Derrick Jones Diamond for 20k. If you have him, I'm just going to say, sell him. Pretty much any card you have in the game is just going to say sell. There's going to be a huge market crash probably Thursday or Friday. Pretty much anything that drops. So I'm selling my whole team tonight. So I would recommend you guys do the same. I've been playing a game. That's how I make all my MT. You pretty much just wake up. You see how the auction's doing. As you can see, it's really high. And how do I tell it's really high? Honestly, I usually use one or two cards. And I use Zion a lot. Because when the markets crash, Zion's a buyout. When the markets up, Zion's not a buyout. And also, this power forward pink diamond filter with a buyout. And also, when Giannis 98 is over 300,000 MT. And the pretty much this filter in general. Power forward moments pink diamond is the way I tell if the market is crashed or not. Because it does, it literally shows you right there and then. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. Talk about Prime Przingis and the new moments. Is this new moments Przingis going to drop the price of the other Przingis? So we're about to find out. So honestly, it, it has a lot. Um, do I think he's going to rise? No, honestly, I think he's gonna drop. I could smell a a Kristaps Porzingis locker code dropping. I could smell like a really, really good OP locker code dropping. They usually do those every couple months. Last time they did one was Christmas. Easter's coming up. Will they have the spotlight done next month? They'll probably have the prime done by Easter. They could drop something fire, but honestly, he might go down. I don't think to a buyout though, because he's that good. I'm honestly thinking Kristaps. It could rise, honestly, but then he'll drop. So if you do want to wait on him and then pick him up again, it's, it's honestly up to you. I kind of want to pick him up. I think he might go up to like 150, 160, but it's kind of risky. So I'm just going to keep mine in my collection, the one I have already. And honestly, I'm not going to touch it. And also, guys, I think a token market update possibly is coming. Honestly, they got to drop it. It's been too long. Um, Pretty much, bro, any card you have, like... Nate Robinson, I kept, I keep saying, if you guys have a pink diamond Nate Robinson Evo, or you bought him, whatever, I keep seeing his price drop. Honestly, he's one of my favorite point guards in the game. And if you do want to sell him, I would go ahead. He's going to keep dropping. When a market crash comes, he's probably going to be like 20K. So if you want to sell him, be my guest. Personally, he is one of my favorite point guards in the game. He played better than Galaxy Opal Curry so far for me. And also... If you guys have any Galaxy Opals, please, if you want to sell your Opals, please go sell them now. Opal Curry is probably at his max price for a while now. Sell everything like you got to. KD at 463. Curry at 230. Look how much time's left, bro. I know this is on Xbox. Prices are higher than PS4. 
But if you really look at these prices and you compare these, you compare these prices to what happened on Friday. If you really like look at these prices, you know what prices are about. This is crazy. MJ was around the same price though. D Rose went from 170 to 250. T Mac actually went down a little bit. I think he's gonna con continuously go down. And also, do you guys want to see me do the Dwight Howard collection? Cause I can. I can afford it. I gotta sell some cards. I'll have Dwight, T Mac, and D Rose. Personally, I kind of want to do it because I love Dwight. But then again, what happens if another Galaxy Global Center comes out that's like 200k, and instead of dropping all that MT on D Rose, which I don't want to use because I have LeBron, I like him more, and Curry, and Nate Robinson, I just love him, even though he is that good. I don't know. What do I want to do? Let me know in the comments what you guys want to see me do. But yeah, man, pretty much this video is just preparing you. I just really want you guys to just make MT. And honestly, a lot of people have been asking me what to do if you have like low MT. If you have low MT, go on this filter, bro. Like this will work your MT. Yeah, you won't make that much profit a lot, but ah, uh, I botched it. Yeah, um, this filter is pretty good, honestly. You make quick MT, make like a hundred MT, a thousand MT. It depends what you snipe. But this MT is really good for people with no MT. And honestly, ooh, I got that. I don't know what he goes for. Let's see what he goes for. I just got that for five fifty. I bet you he goes for something like that. Leon Powell. Wow, did I actually just get a good deal on him? 550, 6,800. So look at that. I just got that car for 550. I'm going to sell it for 1,400. That is in one minute, bro. So in one, not even one minute, in 20 seconds, I'm going to make 800 MT. I don't know, man. That filter is pretty good if you have no MT. So he's going to sell there. If I were to Eve him out, Evo him out, which is probably going to take me one game and get him for a Sapphire. That's probably money. So that's one style filter I would recommend. But um, let's go. Let's go over the next filter. This filter, man, is probably one of my favorites in the game, bro. Like straight up. It's so good. And uh, you know what? Let's go with the Amethyst filter. A lot of people are like, bro, I have no MT. I can't buy these cars. I have no MT. Like straight up, bro. Oh, wow. Okay, good thing he bought it. If you guys invested in David Thompson, congrats because he actually went up a lot. If you invested him at 1200 the other day, he is now... At like 1650, so congratulations. This filter right here, 1600, 2200 max bid, pretty solid. Also, another investment idea. Every time a diamond or amethyst drops and you see them really, really cheap, pick them up. Pick up 10, pick up 20, pick up 30. If you have the MT to do so, snipe them out. Because, bro, every time they do drop stuff like that, they always end up rising at least a thousand. So if you sell them for a thousand extra, you're gonna lose about oh, oh wow, that was a really good snipe, man. Wow, that car goes for like 8k. I just missed out on 8k. That's a I'm just showing you guys how filthy this filter is Like uh, I bought it. I'm honestly gonna stock him up But yo, that just shows how deadly that filter is bro like straight up just missed a 500 curry Probably someone was on the 500 filter for that But yo, if you have no MT, I would recommend this over the diamond filter the diamond filter really just consists of Earl Monroe and whatever it's called but yo this filter is really good too uh it's amethyst 20 like straight up i've been doing this one since the game first came out it's so 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 good bro um try to try to figure it out try to do it if you guys understand the pricing and what what's going on this filter should be straight money you kind of just want to really look for Giannis, lebron that's really it you want to look for Giannis, lebron ad kd that's it if you snipe one of those out for the price of 4k you're getting a quick w that's it it's literally that simple just simply pay attention to those cars in this filter and it'll be money especially during a market crash that filter is stupid hot like i mean one of the hottest filters in the game if you guys don't know um i don't know man pretty much the video is really just based on pretty much just selling your cards trying to get your mt up to snipe get your mt up for friday thursday oh that's such a snipe and i missed it Wow, that's such a L. All right, so just missed another snipe on the Ami filter. Huge, huge bust. Tough day. But you know what? That's really all I got for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And honestly, these snipe tips should really help you. Snipe tips, MT methods, sell your cards. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Obviously, stay tuned for more content. Have a good one, guys. Peace.